Hey everyone, Luis here. In this video I'm going to cover about bad meshed files and how to repair them. This is a very common topic on the Facebook groups that I participate and especially for beginners they do not have this notion that you need many times to check and repair your files before you send it to print. And if you do not do that, you end up discovering after a 10 hour print that you have a ruined model on your build plate and a lot of wasted resin there, okay? So the idea of this video is I'm going to guide you through the tools that I use and I will show you the process that I use to avoid this kind of problem and you will end up not having this problem anymore on your life. So stick with me and I'm going to guide you through the PC. But before that, if you did not subscribe yet, please consider to subscribe to be notified for future contents, okay? Thank you very much, let's go there. We are here on the PC and the first thing I'm going to show you is how to identify a bad meshed file, okay? And which kind of properties it can cause to your print if you keep uh, and, and print this file that way. I will open a model here on Litchi to show you. And Litchi has this very cool feature to show you and warn the user about files that needs to be repaired. As you can see, all it's all red here, the file. And it says that it's no manifold and the model has holes and things like that. And you, you go to, if you go to preview here, you are going to see layer by layer that there are those white spots here. It's not part of the model. And if you print your file without repair, this structure will fuse with your model, give you a ruined print on your build plate. Okay, so pay attention to that. That leads me to my first tool, which is Leech itself. As you can see here, it gives you the option to send the file to be repaired through NetFab online service. You just click here and it uploads your file, repair and download back with the file already fixed and replace it here on screen, okay? The drawbacks of using this tool are, it's very slow, it can take a lot of time to repair a model and also is limited to 100 megabyte size files. If your file is bigger than 100 megabytes, it will not work basically, okay? But it takes a lot of time, I will not wait for this one to be repaired. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. You just come here, click repair and it will send to be repaired through the online service. Now, my next tool, it's a free tool that comes with Windows. If you are a Windows user, you just can come here and search for 3D Builder. Open it and that's it. You just come here, create a new scene and you drag and drop a new file. Okay. And come here, click on import. And the software will identify that this file needs to be repaired. You click to repair and the re repair process starts. The good thing about 3D Builder is that there's no file size restriction and it runs locally. So you can repair your files using it. The drawback is that it can take a lot of time. Depending on the file and the complexity, I already left files repairing there that took me hours to repair. So have that in mind when considering this tool. Majority of the time it fixes fast, but sometimes it can take a lot of time. So yeah, it's a free tool. It's there for you to use. Just uh, consider to use it. Okay. And now my third in favorite tool, it is the Autodesk NetFab Premium. Uh, but you will ask me, but Luis, this is not a paid software. Yes, it is, but you can install it as a trial. As you can see here, I installed it as a trial. It costs you zero to do that. But even after the trial, I have zero days left here. You can continue to use it. They keep the repair feature active, even for non-licensed users. If you come here and close this window, it will say license not found. They just come here and say start non-licensed version and the app will open and you can just use it 
has your repair tool. There's no uh, payment, nothing you need to do to use it. It's not a crack. It's just how the software works and it's something that Autodesk allows us to do. So it's very cool. So thank you Autodesk to allow us to do that. So how you repair for it here, right? Uh, you just come here, open a new model. Click on add parts. It will add your model here. You come to this repair part button here and the application will identify a lot of parts that need to be repaired. Just come here and say run repair script. Okay. You are going to execute this repair script. It can take some time. It takes less time than, than Windows Builder, but depending on the complexity and, and the types of uh, bad meshes that you have on your file, it can take a lot of time. So uh, I will leave it repairing here and will time warp uh, to the end, okay? So it finished the repair. It took like four minutes or something to repair this model. It's all blue now. Beautiful. Then after this process, you come here and click apply repair. And he asks if you want to keep the old part, remove, whatever. I just say remove old part. And it applied the repair and the file now is repaired. And you just come here to file, say export pass part has STOL. You just say where do you want to put the, the file. Normally it's the same place as the original file. The good thing is that it put already repaired after the name here. But if you need another name, just select and you say OK. And it's done. Your file is repaired. And if you go to Leachy now and open this repaired file here. It shows everything blue, beautiful, and you have no problem at all to print this model, okay? So that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did not subscribe yet, please consider to subscribe to be notified for future content, okay? Thank you and see you next time. Bye.